In this video, you will get a brief overview of the Pharmacy Guide. The first tab is the Home tab, and it gives you a general overview of library resources and services, library contact information, and library hours and locations. My photo is here because I'm the librarian that works primarily with your department. However, you can reach out to any librarian for assistance. The next tab is the Library Homepage and General Search tab. It is a screenshot of the Library Homepage with information labeled. If you watched the overview of the Library Homepage orientation video or had any live orientation, this is a great source to reference later on if you need a refresher. There's also a video at the bottom that explains how to search using our Summon Discover tool. Other guides and parts of this guide have information on how to use subject-specific databases. There is also information on how to log into our resources and how to find articles when you have the citation. Featured databases and clinical support tools is the next tab. I apologize, my mouse is a little sticky there. You can see some resources that are especially helpful for your discipline, as well as our complete list of databases, the Databases A to Z link. The next tab is information specific to literature searches. It links to our literature searches guide and it also provides a direct link to the interlibrary loan article or book request form. So let's just take a quick look at the literature searches guide. This guide also begins with the welcome screen and a brief overview of conducting a literature search. Um, so you can see there's some of the same information on this guide that was on the other, um, but this also talks more specifically about the literature search process and forming your PICO question. The next tab over again is a library homepage and overview. We do like to keep that consistent on most of our guides. Um, but the next tab has videos to help you search. So again, here you see the video for Discover, but you also see um, a video about searching CINAHL with subject headings, using Boolean operators, and some information on using subject headings versus keywords when you search. The next tab over is Guides to Help You, um, which aren't videos, but they are worksheets and other written guides um, that can walk you through the steps of conducting a literature search, looking at resources and evaluating them, um, some basic database, like database searching principles using uh, MeSH headings or CINAHL subject headings, PubMed uh, resources, and again, finding articles when you have the citation. So let's go back to the pharmacy guide um, again. This is the Literature Searches tab on the Pharmacy Guide, which is what I clicked to get to the guide I was just showing you. The next tab over is Research and Citation Management. Um, the library does not subscribe to any specific citation management tool, but what we do here is we provide um, information and access to some of those free tools. Um, so it might be some free versions of the paid tools or just tools that are free all on their own. Um, the one that we really have featured here is Zotero because we really recommend that you use that. Um, and there's some great resources out there on how to use it. And then finally, we have a tab on copyright. Um, so as you're getting out there and using information and presenting, you want to make sure that you're not violating someone's copyright. But as you're creating your own information and putting that out there, you of course want to make sure that you understand your rights and that nobody is violating your copyright. Um, this links to our copyright guide. Um, so it's important that you understand that the librarians that are on staff are not copyright attorneys, so we cannot provide you with sound legal advice. Um, but what we can do is we can help you work through the framework of how to determine whether or not your use or someone else's use of your work falls within copyright. And then it's up to you ultimately to make the final decision on whether or not um, you want to use a resource based on if you think that you're using it within copyright guidance or whether or not you would want to pursue any action against somebody who you think has violated your copyright. So we'll help you work through all of that. But again, we can't actually offer you legal advice on that. But this guide has 
a lot of information on um, general information on copyright, some resources, how you can be copyright compliant, um, author rights, and image use.